Welcome back to Rider Rays. This week we are looking at a study in Matthew chapter 4. And uh, today we're looking at a section called In Defense of His Identity. And uh, we're going to see how Jesus used the Word of God, used his own words really, to defeat or to uh, defend his identity. So, if you look at the, the words in Matthew 4, <clears throat> what Satan says to Jesus is, if you are the Son of God, that's the question he asks him. Now, these are the first words that Satan says to Jesus here. In fact, he repeats the phrase again in verse 6. Why does Satan say this? Is it because he does not know who Jesus is? No, he's fully aware of who he's talking to. What Satan means is, if you are the Son of God, then prove it to me. Show me that you really are the God-man. He's not seeking confirmation as he is casting shade upon his identity. Now, Satan gives two suggestions, turning stones into bread and jumping off the temple as two ways to prove that he is the Son of God. Of course, Jesus would not capitulate to Satan's demands, but he didn't need to. Jesus could have pointed to what just happened 40 days earlier before the Spirit led him out into the wilderness. You know, the heavens were opened to him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and coming to rest on him. And behold, a voice from heaven said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Yet, his answer is, it is written. Jesus doesn't use miracles or the angels to prove his identity, which he most certainly could have, but he uses the Word of God. His use of the Word proves his identity, just like Satan's use of the Word shows his identity as the false the you know, the false proclaimer of scripture now the fact that jesus did not use his omnipotence but the word to prove who he was allows us and points us to do the same satan will bring the same charge against christians you will seek to cast doubt on who you really are if you are a christian then prove it show me you can overcome the sin Show me you love God. Show me you have inherited eternal life. Prove to me you are who you say you are. We must follow the master and not give in to the devil's demand. We say, it is written, whoever believes in him will not perish but will have everlasting life. It is written, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. It is written, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. When Satan demands proof of our identity as believers, we do not turn to our feelings, our past actions, or our past victories, we must turn to the Word of God alone. A lot of times we'll be tempted to turn to things that we have done in the past, but that's not where we should go. We can't be, well, look at this. I did this. I did this thing. I walked down the aisle when I was a child and gave my life to Christ. I did this. That's not where we go. We go to the Word of God and say, well, this is what God's Word says. And this is me. <laughs> and you compare the two. Okay, I believe that that's that's what it says. I repented. I have faith. There you go. If if the questioning is about faith, well, okay, let me go. Let me go to the Word of God and show you what faith is. The temptation is that you've sinned over and over again. Well, let me show you how Jesus has forgiven every sin and uh, removed him as far as the east is from the west from me. So. We always go back to the Word of God, not to what we have done to prove, but we go back to the Word of God as our proof. And uh, when we do that, we cannot be defeated. So tomorrow we'll look at how Jesus used the Word to defuse temptations. <laughs>